Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Hello, 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 my friends and comrades and followers, fellow lovers of the Zambian game, Polo Polo lovers. I just want to speak about um, uh, the news of the day that affects all of us football lovers, all of us uh, Polo Polo fans. And that's the news that um, one of our star players, Enoch Mwepo, has been forced to retire from football because of a medical condition with his uh, heart. They are calling it a, a hereditary medical condition with his heart, which has forced him to retire at the very, very young age of 24. He hasn't even hit his peak yet. He was playing uh, international football with um, Albion Hof in England. And um, he's such a talented player, such a talented player. And um, it's really, really a shame that um, uh, his career should come to an end. But, and it's a bit bad, and a big but, and I want you to follow me. I believe that Enoch Mweb can still play again. And I'll give you compelling reasons why I believe that Enoch Mwepu can play again. And I want to rebut those um, uh, medical analysis that have been given from his club there in London. I think uh, they have come to a conclusion too soon. They have come to a conclusion too soon. For them to reach a conclusion to end uh, Mwepu's career or to prove, provide the prognosis that he can never play again, I think it is too soon. Let's look at fact and history. Because when we look at history or football history and see other, look at situations where other players, talented players, what they have been through, what they have had to overcome for them to be star players, you will see that uh, Enoch Mwepo's condition is not something out of this world. The hospital in England or whoever gave a report that Mwepo cannot play again, we can't just take it like that. We just can't accept to say, oh, wakamba kwa zungu kuti sasakati yako bola, and we take it like that. No. We should not be able to take it like that. We must be very critical in terms of what we accept from some of these uh, countries. Remember, it was here where I was telling you that uh, the same uh, cartel in Europe was the cartel at FIFA or wherever where they arrived at a prognosis that Barbara Banda was too manly to play. Yeah? They left her out of the calf. They they, they banned her from, from, from playing at, uh, at calf, Barbara Banda. On the instructions of the signing of medical doctors who said, no, she has too much, I don't know if it's male hormones in her, so she couldn't play. We know that that was just a ruse for them to exclude the Banda. So may I remain suspicious? I'm not saying that they are up to no good. I'm sure they mean well. But what I'm saying is that we need another opinion, another medical opinion, to tell us truly, to convince us, if truly Enoch Mwepu has had his last days as far as playing football on the field is concerned. And I want to give you an example, a historic example. I'm going to add an image. I'm sure those of you who follow my page you, in my previous post, I posted a picture of Wanko Kanu and uh, side by side with Enoch Mwepu. Nwango Kanu had a similar, I'm not saying the same, which is which I'm saying similar. Nwango Kanu had a similar condition, a heart condition. Nwango Kanu was a Nigerian player, and I'll never forget Nwango, Nwango Kanu, because Nwango Kanu, or Kanu for short, is a, a Nigerian star player who was once voted African Football of the, uh, African football of the Year, um, I think in 96 or somewhere there. He was also Arsenal's star player, he played with big names in the football world like Thierry Henry. So Nwango Kanu was a very successful player. But Nwango Kanu's history was not a, a, an easy history. It was not a smooth history. Right after Nigeria beat uh, Zambia in the Africa Cup of 1994, remember Zambia came so close to winning the Africa Cup in 1994. We actually reached a final. We were, we were led by Captain Kalusha Kabwaji. We were beaten in that game because of the skills of uh, Nwango Kanu. Zambians never forgot who 
Kanu was because the performance of Kanu in that final was exemplary even as we Zambians we could see to say hey here we have problems with Kanu Zambia started by scoring first the Nigeria equalized in the in the second half and the, some dribbling and passing from Kanu led to Nigeria beating us in the, in the Africa Cup of 94 but right after that Kanu developed a heart problem Kanu developed a heart problem at Arsenal was at Arsenal by then it's Ajax or Arsenal not too sure but I think he was at Arsenal by then he developed a heart problem and the doctors there in England said Nwango Kanu we will never play football again they said Nwango Kanu will never play football again because of his heart condition that's what they said but nigerians refused nigerian football fans refused they said no 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 way kanu never playing football again what will become of nigerian football if kanu is not going to play the nigerians mobilized themselves they said okay we have heard what the doctors there in england have said but we also want to try our own way the nigerian fa mobilized itself and they searched the whole world for the best cardiac or is it heart surgeons in the world they searched everywhere for the best heart surgeons and they found them in the united states they found the best heart surgeons in the united states and they said if it means nigeria spending part of its budget to treat nongo kano so that he plays again we are going to do it they pledged to pay for Anongo Kano's uh, heart surgery. And indeed, he went under surgery. He went under the knife, Kano. He recovered. I don't know if it took him six months or a year to recover. But he fully recovered. And when Anongo Kano came back, Kano played his best football. Arsenal's best performance in terms of football, I don't know, they called it the unbeaten run. Where Arsenal played the whole season unbeaten. I think they only drew one game. Kano was part of that Star studded team with big names like uh, like Will Todd, like uh, Thierry Henry, like uh, Jumbeg. Kano was part of that star studded player. He played his best football after that. And uh, he, he went on to retire normally unhealthy. Now, even Kano has even established what he calls uh, the Kano Heart Foundation because he recognized to say that uh, the privilege that he had he was given to continue playing football because of the best medical attention that he received, he needed to pass it on to Nigerians. His countrymen who stood by him, who refused to accept the prognosis and the diagnosis of other uh, foreign doctors. And they said, no, we are going to try the whole world to find a, a medical doctors that can treat this disease. Nigerians stood by him. And after Kano retired, he said, how can I best say thank you to my countrymen and women who spared no cost to have me treated from this cardiac uh, uh, or heart problem? He said, I'm going to establish the Kanu Heart Foundation in Nigeria. And today, the Kanu Heart Foundation is a very, very successful heart foundation. People with all sorts of heart problems, they go to the Kanu Heart Foundation and uh, they are treated. He invested his millions that he made off the football pitch because Nigerians gave him a second chance and decided, I have to reward my fellow people with a, with a, a heart foundation. So why am I telling this story? I'm telling this story because my brother in Okmepo, you don't have to hang your boots based on the prognosis of one medical doctor. How many of you have been told to say you've got a condition which, mean, which, which means you can't work or you can't do that? We have been to these medical institutions where they thought ah, this cannot be treated. And people have given up. Just recently, you saw that man in, from Undora who had a very, very, uh, very, very serious. I don't know if his mouth wow, scans, scans of the mouth. His mouth has bowed like this. In Indola, at Indola Central Hospital, I don't know if now it's Indola Teaching Hospital, he was told to say that your condition cannot be treated. He stayed with it for seven years. Then at UTH, he came, I don't know what, what was there. No, it was at same day, Indola Central Hospital. Some other visiting doctor at Central Hospital, he met him at some other day when he went to have his finger checked and he said ah, this thing which you have which can be treated but the same doctors at UTH at Indora Central Hospital told me it can't be treated this the doctor from Saka comes he was visiting that site and says that can be treated today the man has been treated his life is back on track so we must not accept diagnosis on face value to say no he has got a heart condition some of you are saying I don't know if you're experts in health some of you are saying no it's a it's a it's a genetic is it a genetic what do they call it
uh, it's a genetic uh, cardiac uh, uh, kind of uh, disease it's been born no <laughs> there is nothing like that me i refuse to accept that there is such a thing as a, that a, a genetic thing why why do i refuse to accept because listen how long has you know if it is a, something to do with his genealogy or his genetics or it's it's he was born like that how long has Enoch Mwepo been playing football? How long? He's now 24. I think he's been playing football for half of his life. So if that was in him, if it, he was born with such a heart condition, how did he manage to play all through the, the clubs where he was playing in Zambia at a, a very, very intense level? He played all along. So if it was something that was inborn, the moment he had begun that career of uh, uh, football, which calls for high exertion of energy and physical fitness, immediately something could have gone wrong earlier, earlier on. But it never went wrong. How come it goes wrong just when it turns professional? I'm not a superstition, uh, superstitious person, but I know in football there's all these kinds of superstitions. Say no, I don't buy that. But what I'm saying is that if they are saying that the condition is uh, genetic or is hereditary, uh -huh, that's the word, hereditary. They said it's hereditary, meaning he inherited it from his uh, family or from his uh, parents. If it is hereditary, why didn't that hereditary condition show up early on in his career? It didn't show up when he was playing in is it Chambeshi? It didn't show up when he was playing in Kafiwe. It didn't show up when he was playing here in Zambia. He goes professional, then it shows up. And mind you, before any, especially in Europe, the standards are very high before you join European clubs. Before you join Europe, you undergo very intensive medical checkups. They call it medicals, eh? trials, medicals. Before you join any club in Europe, they are very, very intense medical, medical, medical checkups. Very medical intense medical checks they check everything your heart your liver your lungs your kidneys your bones they test you on everything why because european clubs or english clubs in particular they um they pay a lot of money in terms of insurance insuring their their players their players are insured and they're insured at a very very high cost so they don't want to suffer unnecessary insurance whereby they buy you as a player you've got a, a disease or something that can stop you from playing maybe in one or two months then they pay for that they don't usually they don't like that so they make sure to say they put you through all the tests so when they were signing up when albion was signing um, um, up didn't they do all those tests how did they miss it if it is hereditary how did they miss it because something that is hereditary from my little understanding of biology if something is hereditary it means it's it's born in you it's in your genes okay you're inheriting it from your parents if it is if it is hereditary it was supposed to show up in the medicals which albion subjected to before they even bought him but it never showed up are you telling me in the past one year and two months that Enoch Mwepo has, 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 has been in Albion or in England, that's when this uh, uh, disease has uh, uh, manifested? I refuse to believe that. And I refuse to believe that Enoch Mwepo's condition is the worst heart condition all the players have suffered before. No, it's not. Look at the star players which we have today. Name them. The first one that comes to mind is uh, uh, Leo Messi. Huh? I don't know if it's eight-time Ballon d'Or win. Leo Messi, when he was uh, brought to Spain, or when he began his footballing career from Argentina, he was identified at a very young age. And when he was identified at a very young age, I don't know if it was seven or eight years, the, the, the talent scouts who identified him from Spain, who had identifying talent, they said, this young boy is very, very talented, but he's got a problem. They subjected him to test. And they found that Leo Messi had a, 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 a a genetic disorder which kept him which made him very short so they say this shortness of Leo Messi can affect him at in the near future so they said he needed to be treated for that uh, uh, genetic disorder which made him very very short it was an advantage but they said at a certain level if he's too short it's a disadvantage so the talent scouts they talked to Leo Messi's parents and they said we are going to move your family they moved Messi literally from Argentina they moved his family to the Barcelona uh, Academy and there they gave him the most specialist treatment 
to so much that he, they made they don't know how they did it but the doctors made sure to say that he grew by some inches which would have never grown if he was left in argentina he grew by some inches why did they leave argentina because there was no treatment for him to grow by the few inches they required him to grow in argentina so they took him to spain gave him specialized uh, treatment and lo and behold Messi grew by the minimum inches which was required today he's a star player Leo Messi is a star player had they said they given up just there in Argentina and said ah there is no he is too short to play we would have never the world would have, would have never known about Leo Messi but Leo Messi is playing today because the people that were scouting him refused to give up on the diagnosis of other people said he's too short to play name another one Cristiano Ronaldo Cristiano Ronaldo also had the heart condition when he was still playing in in um, in in Portugal as a as a as a as a as a as a, as a young player I think between the ages of 16 or 17 they say they they took him under some fitness test and Cristiano Ronaldo was not so it was not always so muscular and well built he was very skinny and very light and they said that uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is talented but he's got a, a heart problem he actually underwent surgery there's Google if you doubt what I'm saying just go to um, just go to YouTube just Google, Google uh, the rise of Cristiano Ronaldo just Google the ground rise of Cristiano Ronaldo it's going to bring you a documentary which tells you everything about Cristiano Ronaldo Cristiano Ronaldo also had a heart condition and they had to treat him for that heart condition he stayed in the in the in the hospital for a month or two but he came back and they told him you need to work out consistently for you to keep uh, yourself fit and for you to strengthen the function of your heart that's why if you have seen Cristiano's uh, exercise it's out of this world he pushes himself so hard because of that historical issue where he had a problem with the heart so he knew to say that he constantly has to exercise and push his heart to pump so to work out so much so that he, it does not it, it becomes strong and he recovered from that today he's an exceptional player and the difference between C Cristiano or, and Leo Messi if you ask me is about the the, the the physical the physical build Cristiano Ronaldo is more physically built he exercises more he, he has a very very high uh, workout routine those survived Leo Messi survived Cristiano survived in medical conditions there's Ericsson some of you are telling me Ericsson from Man United I don't know much about him but they've also gone undergone operations so what is so special that Enoch Mwepu should be maybe the first African I've heard of who has to hear end his career at a very young age and we are willing to take it like that no let's encourage our brother ourselves as football fans to say can he seek other medical opinions from the best heart surgeons in the world from the research that i've done europe does not have the best heart surgeons they are good in other things but when it comes to issues of the heart it's not europe you should go to it's either you go to the united states john hopkins uh, uh, medical university university i think john hopkins johns hopkins or whatever they call it johns hopkins the way there was this famous uh, where is this famous doctor a neurosurgeon what's his name ben carson yes john hopkins you go there there they have got specialists with state-of-the-art uh, procedures when it comes to heart surgery i don't think there is something that cannot be corrected if it's a malfunction in the heart definitely they can find ways and if those guys say oh uh, we have analyzed we have done a prognosis it can't work then we can all throw our hands in the air and say it. okay the best doctors in the world we have checked one or two places they have told us it can can't be it we can't work on him then we'll say oh god we say oh okay we accept fate we accept the prognosis let's find ways in for encouraging our brother to stay on in the football uh, fraternity see what he can what he can make out of himself be a coach or something like that but we the the, 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 the prognosis hasn't been exhausted india is another uh, country which has gone light it's light years ahead here in zambia heart problems we always refer to india india they've got uh, open heart surgery kanganichani heart surgery they are very very specialized in that indian uh, uh, doctors they've gone so far ahead in terms of that have we tried them has 
you know Kumwepu tried them has the football Association of Zambia consulted other specialist um, uh, doctors or medical centers to see if something can be done about that they haven't done and that's the problem I have with fans because fans should have been the first people to jump on this case and say well okay we've gotten that report from um, the, the the hospitals there in uh, England give us our Mwepu let us take him somewhere and also be convinced that what you are telling us is the truth the fans should have carried out an independent inquiry into whether or not it's true that the condition or the hereditary condition which Mwepu has been diagnosed with is something that cannot be corrected once we are convinced of that no one will argue that let Enoch Mwepu hang his boots and begin to do other things nobody but it's too early it's too early for that decision to be made and fans cannot just also communicate to say no you know Mwepu uh, we are sad that he, the, he, his career has... no 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 Nigeria I've told you about Kanu when the the when Arsenal the Arsenal uh, team uh, gave Kanu that report to say you are too sick to play for for Arsenal it was not the English players that said no Kanu let's find out if there are other means that can be found to cure your heart disease it was not the English fans it was not UEFA it was not FA it was the Nigerian Football Association and the Nigerian fans who said we are taking Kanu back home bring him back home we are going to find where we can take him Nigerians refused to give up uh, on Kanu because they knew the immense talent that was in him and they knew to say Nigerian football was doomed without Kanu Enoch Mwepu is one of our brightest and upcoming uh, soccer stars we just can't give him our opponent him like that at 24 Ronaldo is now 38, Messi is 37. They are still playing their best football, although some of them are retiring after the World Cup. They have played at that level. Imagine what he can do for us is at 24 by the time he's reaching 38 or 40. Imagine what he can do for Zambian football. And we want to let him go like that? As a football fan, I refuse. Because there is evidence that other players who had similar heart conditions were treated. Some even had worse heart conditions than what he had they were treated so we must exhaust all avenues to find ways and means in which uh, he can be treated we must visit the best first must sponsor him to go to the best uh, medical uh, centers in the world for a prognosis or an analysis of his condition if it comes back the same nobody is going to argue that Mwepu should rest his boots and uh, stop playing active football on the pitch because at the end of the day we all want him alive we all want him to live a long life we want him to be productive but we don't want him to cut short his career based on the opinion of one medical doctor there in england no we want him to be taken to other medical centers analyzed fully analyzed and we want to get the opinion of those because who knows who knows just somewhere somehow they might tell us this is the condition that we can work on he can be back on the field again in a year or six months to play just like Kanu, just like cristiano ronaldo just like Leo Messi and other football superstars who've had medical conditions that were treated. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you give this a thought. As Zambian Polo Polo fans, let's not give up on Enoch Mwepu before we seek other avenues and other diagnosis or prognosis from specialized medical heart, heart surgeries around the world. Not just there in England. No. Maybe they didn't want even to spend money for him to analyze it. Who knows? We have to, fans has to spend money to take him to the United States. John Hopkins Hopkins or university or they send him to India the best hospitals there for another analysis not just one analysis no they have to do three four analysis see what they tell us if they tell us well he can't play then he can't play we move on thank you very much for listening god bless and good night and my brother Enoch Mwepu a word of encouragement whether you are going to play or not just know that as Zambian fans we really appreciate you but we are asking you we are begging you get another medical opinion from other health specialized heart surgeons to give you another opinion about whether or not your condition can be rectified if it can well and good we want to see you back if it can't either way you still have our support you are brilliant you are talented we appreciate what you have done for this country on the football field so far may god bless you and your family thank you Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. 
Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.